tonight, this morning, I don't know. Um, we're going to be creating some low poly grass for a uh, game engine such as UDK. That's the example I'm going to use. So let's get started by opening Photoshop. Then you want a new file. And you want it 512 by 512. And you want to set your colours to black and white. Then you want to make your background black. Then you want to lock this layer, create a new layer, Let's flip the colours, go to your brush tools, and if you scroll down a bit, you'll see this thing here, which is basically a blade of grass, and you want to size it up to around 112, maybe a bit bigger, 150 should do. Then you just want to hold shift, you know, so it keeps it sh straight instead of going wonky. And you want to get it evenly as possible so it looks nice. So let's try that. I'm quite happy with that. Then you want to duplicate that layer. You want to flip this horizontally. There you go, and now what you want to do is get your eraser tool and slowly brush away some parts of the grass so it looks more even. This can take a while to try it looking nice, but I'm sure you'll get there. Um, uh, I'm quite happy with that. Now you want to merge these layers together, and what you want to do is do the exact same thing. <laughs> so first we'll hide this layer, get your brush tool out, and go again. Just do it a couple of times till you're happy with what you got. It can take a while, as you can see. This is a bugger. Today would be nice. I'm not. I'm just not satisfied. <laughs> right. I don't want this tutorial to last too long, so we'll just we'll do with that. Right. Again. Duplicate the layer. Edit. Transform. Flip horizontally. and get rid of some of the parts I'll do merge these together Now we want to stretch it a bit up so the grass is taller, like that. Do the same with this one. There you go. Center these, control A, select all, align, center, center. Do the same with this one. Center, center. Uh, Actually, um, make the canvas size a bit bigger. Canvas size five, twelve, ten, twenty four. Oops, don't know what happened there. Ten, twenty four. Yeah, right. Unlock that, fill the rest of it in. Oh, not white. Oh god. Black. Make 
show you on the right layer. I might have a bit of trouble. Lock it. Right. Um, could be a bit taller. So could that actually? Are they about? They're about the same. So actually uniformly scale it up a bit now. Same with this one. To about the right size, yeah that should do. Uh, space them out evenly. Right. Now what you want to do is flatten the image. Actually no, I'm lying. Create an alpha with these. Layers selected. Ah, merge these layers actually. Merge layers. Alpha. Copy. Channels, alpha. Oh, seems to be the wrong thing. Right. Merge these two layers. Copy it. Channels. Is that which one's alpha? I can't remember. There we go. Right. Up. There you go. Alright, control D. Deselect. Right. That's okay. Now what you want to do is pick two green colours that you like. So I'm going to go about there and maybe there, get your gradient tool out, create a new layer, hold shift, switch straight, that looks very nice. What I'm going to do is filter and you want to add a bit of film grain. There you go. Now what you want to do is right. That should be it actually. I think we're done. Flatten the image. Right. <laughs> I might be wrong here, but we'll see. Actually, change the image size because it's too big at the moment. Image size 512 by 1024, 256 by 512. File, save as low poly grass target. Save it somewhere you can remember. 32 bits. Open up Maya. Create a plane. And Take away the subdivisions. <laughs> um, two five six by five twelve. Now what you want to do is create a new material, and it's a thong, not a thong, but a thong. <laughs> um, color. File desktop low polygraphs right six and there's the low polygraphs. Now you want to rotate this nine eh? right now what you want to do is edge loop straight down the center Click select this face got your polygons edit mesh not nope. mesh separate oh apparently it's been ignored so it's not that one mesh extract there we go now you just want to move that down 
Oh, modify, set my pivot first. Alright, let me check something first. That's alright. Is that one alright? That's alright. Modify, set my pivot on that too. Move them in the exact same position. So we'll both put, we'll put them both on the center line. And that one. Right, now you want to rotate one of them. 90 degrees. Right. If you look at that from top down, it looks a bit silly. So to avoid that, what you can do, and to make it look a little bit better, is edge loop. Put three edge loops. Spread them evenly around, and now what you want to do is grab the vertices. Not, not that one. And you want to basically curve it forward. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. Start there as well. Curve that, move that back a bit. So the grass is curved basically, and you want to do the same with this one. You can do it with the edges as well, just so you know. Might actually be easier. A little bit, yeah. Right. I'm quite happy with that, I think, maybe. Move that back a bit. No, I'm satisfied with that. Right, now I'll put that back into the centre. More. Centre pivot. Right. Looks a bit better, but now the best thing you can do is duplicate these. Rotate it. There you go. There's your grass. So now what you want to do is you want to merge it all. Mesh. Combine. Move it up a bit about there for the pivot. That should do. Now you want to go to material ab attributes, change this to, and we'll do grass test. Oops, grass test. Now you want to export. I'll open UDK, I'm not doing anything. Export all. UDK grass test, save it where you can remember it. Make sure you've got embed media enabled. Export all. Now we just wait for UDK to open. Next one. Alright. So we'll make it look at more. We'll get it looking alright. Do it this, do it this. Tools, new terrain. It's very hard going from Maya to UDK because the tools are so different. So we'll get ground, texture, materials, all assets. Da da da. Terrain editor. New setup. Alright. Increase the tessellation. Right, import UDK, oh, UDK grass test. Okay, okay. Right, there's our grass, and you're probably thinking, wait a minute, that is not grass. Definitely not grass. 
so what you want to do is you want to find your material and you want to move them over a bit drag this up click this uh, get it in view and you want to change this here to mast mask mask sorry and put this into the opacity mask and there you go save it now you should have low poly grass so we'll give it a test ah yeah you're probably wondering what the problem for that is too and I've just realized I forgot to do something two-sided enable that so the texture is viewable on both sides <sighs> schoolboy error now you want to open foliage mode drag it in and we'll do a little test of it we'll do 300 let's see how big it is first there you go so turn it around play if it wants to let me play apparently it doesn't oops apparently I can't oh there we go play from here there's your low poly grass that's a bit big so let's <laughs> scale that down a bit that's simply done by changing this we'll change that to point 5 and we'll change that to point 7 there you go play from here and there you are low poly grass I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more and thanks for watching guys see you later